Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead uh, beta test number one of the diesel air heater. So you can see I got ducted into the cross space of the house. Of course it's pulling in 100% outside air. I ain't got enough duct to hook it up on the return side right now. This is just testing it out to see what kind of fuel we use. So uh, I remote mounted the thermostat. So I did some uh, shielded cable and then some just stake-ons temporarily test it out so I got the controller inside on automatic instead of manual fueling and then a fully charged lithium iron phosphate battery is pulling 2.76 amps at 13.5 volts so very minuscule power draw I uh, just got the muffler up in the air with a piece of baling cord or aluminum aluminum wire for the moment uh, this is just a temporary rig for one night so I got to build a doghouse and stuff for it but this is just the, the setup and I'm going to fill it up tonight and I've got the heat pump turned off. So, you know, all electricity we're gonna use the heat tonight is off of this battery right here and see what uh, what it does. I got the controller routed down through the uh, cupboard right here and same shielded cable connects back here. So I can, I got quick disconnect. So I can just take this controller off, reach, you know, go in the back of the, of the cabinet right there and disconnect the uh, quick disconnects to move this controller back to the heater if I want. But that's about 25 foot of shielded cable running this uh, controller and I got an automatic mode. Uh, that's the inside temperature right now. I just I just fired it off maybe five minutes ago. And uh, there's a set point, 21 degrees Celsius. So uh, that's how I got it set up for tonight. And you can see it's, it's full bore right now. And uh, let's see what the discharge air temp is, 132 degrees Celsius. And there's the outdoor temp right now, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So. All you math people can convert that over to sell me degrees of split I got between the supply and return, which is quite a bit. So scroll through all these settings. That's, you know, like I said, that's pretty good. Pretty good split right there. There's the voltage and all that. And you can see the little indicator here is on automatic mode instead of manual. So and it shows the level of heat. So she's ramped all the way up, which is good. Keep it from carboning up, sutting up, which is on street diesel right now. So no big deal. And then, you know, temperature wise, you can set it up or down, whatever. And the floors are getting very warm. So we'll get a little quick little crawl space temperature right here. See how quick she she goes up. I got a I got a fine tune fine tune tonight to not make too much of a positive pressure under the crawl space. So uh, we'll watch it climb for a second. I won't I won't keep you too long, but let's see what. It ain't been on but about ten minutes. So it's fifty degrees outside. Oh yeah, look at that crawl space is nice and toasty. So let's see how hot it gets. I'm gonna try to keep it, you know, 85 or so on the crawl space is like a radiant heat setup. So it's drying it out. The RH has dropped in the house too since I started. So eh, we're 80, 83 underneath, 84. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that too. I don't want it too awful hot, but you know, should have nice toasty floors. Once they heat soak and all that thermal mass gets loaded up, it'll be nice which is good. I ran it without this remote earlier in the day, run about 30 minutes, the heat pump shut off and uh, you know, started gaining temp. So yeah, uh, very happy with the beta test and uh, I'll keep you updated how it goes. Appreciate you watching the Alker Mountain Homestead. Hope you have a nice day.